All right, let's go over the, um, we had a nice short here on the NASDAQ uh, futures here this morning. I want to go over this and how we can change, change contract size on the strategy using the strategy. We actually, actually had a nice long here a second ago too on the NASDAQ futures, but this is the NASDAQ, the NQ. Um, so let's take a look at contract size. So uh, the, the indicator and the strategy is out to you and they're, the method that we love to use is using the momentum chart here to set the trade up for a possible retracement sell which just happened here not even what 20 minutes ago and I had another trade long here a second ago also so um, we like to use the momentum chart to find when the markets can possibly go vertical because the worst thing you can have as a trader trying to trade retracements is a chop market and what I found over the last 30 years of doing this is that chop markets uh, don't work very well with retracement trading. So traders try to bang their head against the wall trying to trade retracements and chop and they find themselves getting stopped out over and over and they can't figure out why. So I designed an algorithm to look for when speed is actually coming to the market. Where's the order flow? Because if you don't know where the order flow in the market is, you're, you're kind of lost in the market because if you try to trade chop, uh, I have found over the past 30 years that you can't really do it unless you trade market profile, sell HVA and buy LVA in a sideways market. That works very well. But other than that, you know, all these indicators, there's thousands of indicators out there. I've never seen one that actually works well in a chop market. So we need to find when these markets go vertical then. Vertical means when do they get speed? Because once you get speed in the market and the market starts going vertical on you, then you can look for retracements. And retracement trading um, is, is incredible uh, uh, if you get a big vertical market that's moving because it's like a rubber band snapback. Let's imagine taking a rubber band in, in your left hand and taking it in your right hand, I always explain to traders, and then stretch it all the way until it almost breaks and then let go of it. That's the natural price reaction you get when the market goes vertical. You get this big giant vertical move and once you get the big giant vertical move, then what you have is you have this natural snapback. So if we look over here on the momentum chart, that's what happened this morning on these two beautiful trades in the NASDAQ futures and the strategy picked it up. If you notice, what happened is that we got the big, uh, uh, all, all of the, uh, the momentum chart turned red. And we're turning red over here. Here's six red, one, two, three, four, five, six. There is your six red. So what it does, it tells you you got a possible vertical move in the market. And with that vertical move, it lets you know, you, <coughs> excuse me, you are looking for retracement trading, all right, to catch in the infancy of the move. So what we can do then is we can look for when there's momentum over here like this, we can look for when there is a possible big uh, retracement in a vertical move market. So this chart set it up this morning. It set it up right there. Uh, um, just at 7.45 this morning. I educate traders, start looking at the markets as a futures trader right around 7.30, 7.40. Um, the majority of your trading should happen between 7.45 and 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, a lot of the, the volume comes in at the New York Open from 9.30 to 10.30, but uh, typically a lot of your big trades are going to happen uh, between 7.45 on any given day to 10.30, um, and then more importantly, 9.30 to 10.30 is all the volume. So how can we take advantage of this then with the uh, indicator and algo that we get out to you, which is in everybody's mailbox. Everybody should have received this and all members should have the updated indicator and algo. So the momentum chart sets it up though. So here's our momentum chart. This tells us right here where I put these vertical lines that, hey, we got a possible big vertical move in the market. If you see this happen on any given market, and this works on all futures, stocks, Forex and currency markets. This is not, this methodology is not specifically for the NASDAQ futures like we have up here or the S&P futures that I show in the trading room or the crude oil futures that, you know, we love to trade and this is universal. So this methodology is pretty much for all of them right across the board. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to capture this retracement. We're trying to capture this first two waves down, trying to catch this swing high and this swing high, which it caught this morning again uh, on, the on, NAS on the NASDAQ, 
is that we're trying to catch those swings after a vertical move happens. So we get the we get everything turning red, all our zones. You love six zones is the best. Six red uh, zone dots are the best that they all turn red together, and I put the vertical line there. So let's look at the, these first two. There's that one and this one. Once you get an opposite color WPT that comes in, that's what's called a speed bar. This is what catches the rolling position traders, the counter trend traders. Because what happens, once you get a vertical move, you always get these counter trend traders. Because there's thousands of indicators out there that are that are used by other platforms. They love to counter trend trade the market. They're trying to get this little uh, move back up. But we're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know counter trend trading is not conducive to our trading plan because I don't... I've never seen over 30 years one counter trend trader make money, and that is, I'm talking a lot of traders. So, you know, it just tells you that counter trend trading just does not work. Indicators that show you how to counter trend trade, it's just you see traders come and go trying to counter trend trade the market. Where traders have longevity and are successful in the markets are trading retracements with overall trend direction. So, if you see we get a big vertical move down, there's a retracement, you get an option color speed bar. And then we get a pull-in bar, and we get a nice vertical move down. <clears throat> then we get um, six red um, uh, momentum. A chart turns six red again. We get the counter trend traders pushing back up. Uh, once the counter trend traders come in, we get the option cover speed bar, and then we get it pushed down there also. So when you see this turn six red or six green on the momentum chart, you can move over to your strategy. Now the strategy that we sent out to you guys, all you members have in your mailboxes now, is automated. It will put your entries in for you. It will put your stops in for you. It will keep your trails in for you. It will get your targets for you. Now, what I want to show you in this video, though, is how you can change contracts. Some traders have different risk tolerances. So if you eventually want to trade this live, which you can after signing the risk disclaimers that we give you, if you want to trade this live in your account after we get momentum in our momentum chart, you can let the automated software do its work. So what we can do, this is uh, four contracts. So this is four contracts that happened this morning off of these two setups. So there's your 755 trade and you can see there's your 750 trade that caught both of them. So the strategy is already preset with these WPTs and a trend filter built into it. So we can see that as long as we are below my ATR and we get momentum in the momentum chart, you can turn the strategy on and it will execute your, um, your contracts. So what happens is you will never be exposed more than four contracts. Now, what I educate traders is that uh, we have so many micros out there right now is that it's one-tenth of the overall um, of the overall big contract. So, you know, if you are trading, if you don't want to trade the big contract and you want to see how these fills go and you want to trade wide monies with it, the micros are really the way to go. And you can trade the micros or the big contract depending on your risk tolerance. Totally up to you guys. But... What you can do is, is uh, the four contracts, let's say it, gets, uh, it will always go short four contracts right away unless you specify and change your contracts. So the default is four contracts. It will scale, scale. On the next WPT catching the wrongly position traders or the counter trend traders short, it goes short the two that you just scaled out of. So you're never exposed until you totally get stopped out on a trail. You're never exposed more, more than your uh, that you specify your ultimate short, uh, your specified number. So if you put your specified number as four contracts max, then it will scale to, it will add two back on to get you four short again. It will scale down here again. It will keep doing that. It will keep doing that until we get stopped out. So it'll keep doing it and we'll go down. We'll keep going down. The runner will keep going down. There's your target. There's your target. And it'll keep doing it until eventually it will stop itself out on the contracts right there. So what you can do then is you can um, you can change your contract size though. So to change your contract size, let's say you don't want to do four contracts on the micro, or you don't want to do four contracts on big contracts, on the big contract, what have you. So if we go into it, let's just take a look at it. I'm going to show you how to change it. And we go into it. And once you go into it, go down to order handling. And let's go down to order handling. <clears throat> let's just put one contract. If we put one contract in, then it's telling the algo that you only want to do one contract with every single setup. So every WPT over here on the momentum chart, it's going, going to sell one contract here and one contract here and go for your first target. And that's it and keep your original stop in. So as you can tell, 
it sold one contract here and got your profit target. One contract there, got your profit target. That's 15 ticks. But you can go two contracts in. So let's say you can go two contracts and you're, you got your specified number of two contracts in there. You can change it to two. You don't have to trade four. You can go two. And if you want to go two, you go to order handling again. And you change the entries per direction to two. Now we're going two. So if I go two, then I enable the algo. Now at the specified WBTs, it will automatically do two contracts. It will take one uh, for your first target. The second target will be break even plus one, and it will go for your second target. So now you can see it got target one, target two, target one, target two. Let's say you want to do three contracts. It's fine. You can keep doing this in multiples of one all the way up. And I'll go up to five, and then we'll shut this video off. I could do this all day. So let me just go <clears throat> to three contracts, and then we go back in here. We enable it, and now we can go into three contracts. So it's the same thing. Once the momentum chart gets on, if you have three pre-sell already with your targets, entries, and stops, and trails, it will go three contracts short right at these WPTs automatically for you, and then there's your three contracts, target one, target two, target three, target one, target two, target three. But let's say you go five contracts. Let's say you do an odd number of five. And let me show you how this thing works. And this is Phil's question this morning. So let's say we go five contracts and we come back in here and we go into five. Order entry, I mean order handling. And we go five contracts. So now we turn this thing on. Now what it's going to do is you're never going to be exposed more than five contracts at any given time. So meaning if you go short with this momentum, because I highly educate traders to only trade the strategy in momentum, but let's say that we go five. What five is going to do is this, is it's going to take one, two, three, four, five. It's going to take two, three off, but it'll add two back on. So what it will do is it will add back on me go on the way up to let me show you on the way up. Oops. Very sensitive mouse. But um, so what it'll do is let me try to there we go. So it goes, let's say we add into uh, it goes four originally, one, two, three, four. And then what we do is one, two is off, but then you take two off from the original four. So your four, your four goes long. And then it'll take the original two, it'll take your scaling two off, so now you have two long. But it'll never expose you more than five now after the runner gets running. So now it adds back in three on the next WPT. So now you're exposed back to five with two runners and three original positions, and then it scales, scales. And I'll keep doing that on the way up. So we'll only, it, it will start with your original here. It will start with your original here, and then it will scale depending on your um, the scale here with your first contract, second contract, so you only got two long, but since you put five in order handling, it's going to add three more back on. All right. If you just did four and four, then it scale two off and add two more back on. Right. So that's how you can sort of see, and you can see which way, how many contracts you want to do, but that's the best way to do it is you can change your order handling the number of contracts you want to do. It's never going to expose you more than the maximum numbers under order handling. If your maximum number is five contracts at any given run, you're never going to expose more than five. If you put your maximum number four, it's never going to expose you on the way up more than four contracts. If you go two, it's never going to expose you in the market more than two contracts. If you go one, it's, going to, it's just going to bat singles all day. 